you have noticed your lawn turning from green to brown, it's time to get the sprinkler out. But if you don't already have one, buying one is not going to be so easy. 9 News reporter Brian Yacona live in Crescent Springs to explain. Brian, what's going on? Hi, good morning to you, Tony. I tell you what, this is big news right now because it is so hot, we could use anything to cool off. We were just inside the Home Depot here in Crescent Springs, and usually you can find a, a wide variety of sprinklers, anything you might want. But right now, the shelf that usually carries most of them, it's bare at this noon hour. Take a look. I want to show you what that shelf looks like right now. Usually, uh, a lot of them right there, you can find pretty much anything you want, many different styles. Now there's just a few left and a handful of what is there. Now here's a tip I learned from one of the employees, however, Nancy Fetters. She suggests taking a small PVC pipe, capping one end, screwing your hose into the other end, and then drilling holes down the length of the pipe. Then if you have a tree in your yard that's starting to die, just drive that pipe into the ground to get the water directly to the root system. She says she's been doling out that advice to a lot of people because unfortunately she's been turning people away looking for sprinklers. I worked out here yesterday. We had plenty of it. So between yesterday at 5 o'clock and this morning at 9 o'clock, we sold out. Look at the shelf. It's empty. Surprising to see, that's for sure. Now, the manager here tells me he does expect a shipment of new sprinklers sometime in the next few days. But he admits, even calling other stores, the demand is very high right now. Brian Econo, 9 News, live in Crescent Springs. And there's really good reason for that. Thanks, Brian. Because